All right, folks, welcome back to the shop. Today we're going to be looking at the uh, Fuji Electric Phrenic Mini BFD and how to utilize the uh, existing cam switch on a milling machine. How to hook that up, just a brief video. Fuji Electric Phrenic Mini and the cam switch or drum switch. All right, so we're out with the old static phase converter and in with the new VFD. Once again, this video was about uh, using an existing cam switch, uh, your forward stop reverse switch with a VFD. I, I looked all over the internet, uh, wanted to figure out how to utilize that till my potentiometer and all those other parts come in. But I knew there was a way to do it. So, uh, once again, diesel ram charger was the guy that urged me to make this change. And so, uh, he pretty much told me about this. Uh, I just owned out this switch. Right now it's in the off position. This is forward. You can actually hear it. Alright, so I've identified a perfect. Alright, so I've got a common and then a forward and reverse. So that's all I had to do was figure out find a common on those switches. Or on that drum switch. I did the same thing on the one that's on the machine. And uh simply hooked up the I think it's thermostat wire, it's like 8 conductor, 18 gauge wire, ran it to the switch, changed the setting in the, uh, in the program, we'll, uh, settings on the Frenic VFD and away we go. Alright folks, let me show you what's in the box here. It's a Fuji Frenic Mini so, uh, VFD. Once again, I've got to thank uh, Diesel Ram Charger for convincing me to get rid of that static phase converter and go to this. Uh, the wiring you see is, is temporary. Uh, currently got it wired up to this cam switch. Where I can run the mill. So uh, I've got a, I think it's a four hole box coming with a start, re forward, reverse, and a potentiometer coming. And like I said, this is a temporary setup just so until we can get the uh, other box in. And so I can run the mill, run the mill the way it is. So, uh, PFD does offer a lot of features. up the speed. Go straight to reverse and it's smart enough to shut down and then immediately go into reverse. And that's something you couldn't do with a static phase converter. Static if you went from forward to reverse or motor would simply just continue running in the same direction. I do have it in low gear here, so it's going to be reversed anyway. Forward can be forward. Uh, reverse is forward, and forward reverse. On these variable speed drives, when you go to low gear, it reverses the uh, rotation. All right, let me show you what's under the hood here on this uh, VFD. Alright, so I've got my 220 single phase coming in. 
Getting in my uh, 220 three phase going out to the motor. And then I've got some extra wire here because I'm, I don't know where I'm going to mount this remote switch to. So, and again, this is just a control circuit. Hooks up to here. You got the common, forward, and reverse. And it's really very simple. It's uh, got a pretty thick manual that comes with this thing, but uh, once you do a, some basic programming on it, it'll start to it'll start to clear it for you. It was pretty intimidating at first, but once you start entering some programs in it, and once you got it wired up electrically correct, uh, there's a lot of built-in protection. I don't think you're gonna input anything that's going to hurt the machine. Uh, now you could input some things where this machine will come on after a fault that could might get you hurt but you just got to be careful of that and stay safe but I don't think you can electrically damage the machine uh, by inputting any settings on there. It's going to give you an error if the, um, if the if the value is incorrect or if you do spin it up uh, and it's got too much load on it, it'll give you an error and protect itself. So it's got a lot of built in protections, a lot of advantages. Uh, another advantage with a VFD is you get full horsepower. This is a three horsepower motor, three horsepower VFD. Uh, I'm getting a, a true three phase with this as, the, as opposed to the static converter was giving me like a phantom leg. It would boot up start the machine up in three phase and then kick one one leg out uh, but overall it's just better there's a lot of features you can use down the road on this so again just a, a brief video to show using the cam switch it's very easy and uh, I would show you the settings the program settings uh, to get in there I think I will but it could very well be different on on other VFDs. As a matter of fact, I'm sure it is. The, the different codes that they call them uh, to change the the format and whether it runs from the keypad or whether it runs from an external switch. So I'll pull that part up. Let me fire it up here real quick. Alright, basically you're going to go into the operation uh, menu here. You're going to hit the program, and then we're in 1F. We want to go to uh, code number 2, and hit function data. Right now you got four, you got four options, 0 through 3. Right now it's uh, 0 is run stop uh, on the keypad. So if you hit it, uh, Let's go to zero. And when you hit function data, it'll save it. We'll exit out of there. Back to 60 hertz. So now if we look at the machine, if we just go with the forward reverse switch, we're not getting anything. To, to make that work, you have to first hit the run button here. Then you'd hit the forward reverse. And it would kick on. Alright, I didn't want it set up that way because I want to put the cover back over the box. Uh, so we're going to go back into that function. We're going to make it run from, from terminal command, forward and reverse. So I'm going to go back into programming function. 1F is where I want to be. We want to go down. We want to go to number 2. And we want to set that value to 1. Oh, we, had, we need to hit the stop function. So let me get out of here. We need to hit the stop. Now we go into program function number two. That's one I want to edit. I want to increase that to one. Function data. It says save. So now, so now all I have to do is hit the, uh, when I hit the forward reverse, now it comes on without me having to hit the, the run button.
So basically now I can have the lid on this machine and simply operate it from the forward and reverse switch up top. And it's just that simple. Like I said, the manual is uh, quite thick. There's a lot of different settings in there. You can go through a lot of different settings, but uh, just to get you up and running, that's a basic way. Like I said, I searched all over the internet. This may be very simple to other folks, but uh, I knew it could be done. Uh, kind of like doing this stuff myself, but the key was oming out the switch and finding a common and then one contact for forward, one contact for reverse. Uh, and it should work the same way when I get the other keypad in. It's going to have a box with a potentiometer and I'll be able to control the speed from right there. So. It is a little noisy, but once you button it up inside the case here, it quiets it. It's it pretty quiet. And I, I made two air holes in the case. I just took a a hole cutter and uh, I think it was an inch and a half or something cut a hole in the bottom and went out the side and just put some uh, felt over it uh, actually it's for uh, lawnmower uh, air breathers element so just uses some two-sided tape to hold it down flat in there and it seems to have pretty good airflow all right so here we go Zeke, talk to me. What you got, boy? Huh? What you got? Talk to me, big dog. What you got? Huh? Huh? I got you. I got you. I got you, big dog. What? Tired? Huh? Sleepy? What? 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 What does that mean, huh? What does that mean? I don't get it. Are you comfortable? Are you busy? What? You see something? What is it? Talk to me. What is it, big boy? Food. Does it have anything to do with food? Hmm? Oh, you're knocking me down now. Have anything to do with food? What? No way. You sure? I just don't believe it. You sure? I don't know. I don't know what that means. I don't understand. You. What are you talking about? What? What are you talking about? There goes mama. What? Food? No way. Treats? Food. <laughs> Come here. Come here. What is it, big boy? Sit. Sit. Good boy. That's a good dog. That's a good boy.